Okay, fifth grade, lesson 104. And this one is on rounding decimal numbers to the nearest whole number. So let's take a decimal number, and we're, we'll just use money for right now because money is still a decimal number, okay? But we'll look at other decimal numbers in a minute. But let's do money for a minute. All right, if I were to ask you, we're going to try to round this to the nearest dollar. So between which two dollars is this amount? Uh... It's $7 and, and $8 probably. It's and so it's in between which two numbers? 7 and 8 and seven? it's probably closer to 8. So let's do this. It's in between 7 and 8. What is halfway? Uh, 30. Nope. We're not, look, we're not looking at time. Time is 60. How many coins are in a dollar? Dollar. 100. Oh, so it would be 50. 50. Okay, so watch this. $7.50 is halfway. Okay. So where would 7.56 go? On this way or this way? That way. This way. So we know that it's closer to $8. That's how we would round that money problem to the, the largest or the nearest whole number. Okay? Let's look at another one. Now, oh, let's say this. Let's say I asked you this. Is $7.50 closer to 7 or closer to 8? Do you remember which one we always do? You go to 8. You always go to the higher number if it's halfway. exactly halfway. Okay, just review on that one. Okay, let's look at this one. They tell me to take a number 7.6. Now, this is not money, but it's still a decimal number. Okay? Now, between which two numbers is 7.6? Um, wait, what's the highest point? Highest point? Does it go to, like, point 0.100? It can go to anything. Oh, well, what place is this in? Six. Tenth. Tenth what? place? Oh. Yes. So there's 10. Isn't okay, that cool? So, yeah, it'd be 8. Okay, okay. so what, what two numbers is there in between, though? Uh, 7 two, and 8, and then... Which two whole numbers? 7 and 8. So what would be our halfway point? Be uh, 5. 7.5, good job. So would 7.6 be here or 7.6 here? It would be there. You would say 8. eight. Very good. So if we round to 7.6, it would be to 8. And this little, this was a little clue... Hopefully you saw that, that this is the tenths spot, so we are six out of ten. So if I were to draw this, it would be like having ten of these, and I were to go to the sixth one. Of course, I didn't draw it out very well. Okay, then we would get, be more than halfway. 7.6 would be here. Mm -hmm. Got it? Okay, I didn't quite draw it in scale, yeah. but you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, good stuff. Now. Here's what this one says, and I want you to help me know what this is saying. Estimate the product of 8.78 and 6.12. Now, what does estimate mean? Uh, it means like, no, it's not rounding. Yeah, it's kind of like rounding. But estimate means that you're going to round first then oh. answer the problem. Yeah. Okay, I don't know if I've ever told you that, but that's what it means. Okay? So estimate means you're, you're going to round it first, all your numbers, and then answer it. Instead of answering it and then rounding it. You always want to round first. Okay. Now it says estimate the product. What does this word mean? Answer to a multiplication. Very good. This means the answer to a multiplication problem. So what are they wanting us to do to these two numbers? Um, rounding them and then answering them. Yes, them. and then answering them how? Multiplication. By multiplying them. Very good. So you have to know what product means to even work this problem. Okay? okay. Now, clue, what place value are we in? Tenths? Hundredths. So, first of all, between which two numbers is this whole number in? Uh, 8.78. So it'd be closer to... No, no, tell me which two numbers it's in between first. Oh, 8 and 9. 8 and 9. Okay. Now stay with me. 0.78. Okay. This is tenths. So if it was 0.7, we would count from uh, tens by tens. But 7, seven eighths, this is the what spot? The hundreds. hundreds. So this literally means I would have a hundred of these. Yeah. In between here. Okay? 
Now, so what would halfway be? Halfway would be 50. Yes, so 8.50, right? Yeah. You see how we're doing that? So 8.78 would be where? 8 point, be closer to 9. Be closer to 9. It'd be somewhere right there. So we're going to say this one is 9, okay? Now let's go to our next one, okay? 6.12, okay? Between which two numbers is this 6.12? I think it's 6 and 7. Very good, 6 and 7, okay? And again, tenths, hundredths. So what does this tell you? Uh, the middle point's 50 and be probably closer to 6. The middle point would be 6.50. Very good. And we know that there are a hundred of these in here. Good. So 6.12 would go on this side or this side? Uh, probably six. Very good. Okay. So we have the number nine and six. Okay. So we've estimated. Now let's um, estimate the product of nine and six. So what do they want you to do? Uh, they multiply them. Very good. And that would be 54. Very good. 54 is the answer. Okay. Good job. All right. Let's do a rectangle. Okay. So last one. We'll draw a rectangle. And we'll just do an area. Finding two measures. Okay. So I have 12.2 centimeters. And I have 7.8 centimeters. We're not finding. Is that a square or a rectangle? Well. I just drew it up here. Sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a rectangle, but it's, it just looks like a square. Okay. Okay, so just stay with me, okay? We're doing area, not volume, because okay. there's just two measures. Yeah. Okay? And it's not a 3D it's object. Like a it's just index a two card. It's just a two, uh, 2D object. You see that? Okay, so they want me to estimate the area of this triangle. So what are they asking me to do? Here's what it says estimate. The They're area. wanting you to do length times width. Very good. Of this triangle. Are we going to have to... I'm not sorry, not triangle, rectangle. <laughs> okay? So, estimate means what? Means uh, rounding, but then doing the problem right. after. Okay. So, these are the two key words. Estimate and area. Okay. So, let's estimate. 12.2. Uh, would become what? Would become uh, 12. Very good. And 7.8 would become? We'll probably going to 8. Very good. Okay, so area means length times width. So, then so we're, we're going to do 12 times 8. And just to help you out, that's 96. Now, area, remember you also have measurements when you're measuring area. So it would be 96 centimeters long. Square root. Oh, square root. Yeah, yeah. very good. Not square root, just square. That's how you say it. 96 centimeters oh. squared. Or you could just put squared. If you don't like that. But as you get older, that's how they're going to want you to write it. With okay. Because you're doing two measurements. Okay? That is lesson 104.